So, hello everybody. It is a beautiful morning here in Florida. Getting ready to get whacked by a tropical storm, I'm guessing. But for the moment, that's alright. Look at these right here. Just stunning. Beautiful, beautiful plums. This is the Guthrie or Gersey Chickasaw Plum. And look at that. There are some gorgeous plums ripening up on her. And look at what I have right here. Look at that. Just beautiful. When they're completely ripe, they get that nice red blush on them, red orange blush. You can pick them a little earlier when they're completely yellow but soft. But this is when the flavor really develops. Just gorgeous. Look at that. So I'm going to give you a look right here. I'm going to stick this in my pie hole, my uh, plum hole. And then I will talk some more about this pretty awesome native plum variety. <laughs> wow. Mm. Look at that. Mm. Just delicious. Mmm. That, that was good. Mmm, that was really good. Now, mmm, zero sour on the skin. You know, the Asian plums have the sour skin. No sourness whatsoever on that skin. Mmm, super sweet. Very, very juicy. Extremely juicy. And it just completely melts. That just disintegrated into pure juice when I bit that. That was a really ripe one. And like I said, you can pick them a little more firm. That one's softening up right there. But I don't want to pick it yet. Mmm. But just absolutely delicious. Gosh, that was good. No sour skin, super juicy, flavor, mm, that plum flavor, you know, that super tropically, it's actually had a little bit of a hint of apricot in it, that, yeah, some apricot-y tropical flavor, that was a good plum, <laughs> so amazing taste. The Gurthry Chickasaw Plum, native plum. This tree is on its own roots. I can tell you right now, this tree has survived standing water for months. This tree has survived bone dry sand for months. And this tree gets zero care from me and is grown basically in pure sand. I'm out here by my goat pasture and I don't give this tree any care. I haven't pruned it at all. It's been here a few years. And, well, just let it do its thing. This is the first year that it's really fruited heavily. And I'm glad that it has. We're the very beginning of June here. I think it's June 2nd. And the plums are just ripening up on it. And gosh, I wish I had some more because that was really good. And the trees that, you know, they grow. So they'll keep on growing. It's a full-size tree eventually. But they tend to like to be more shrubby, small, low plum trees. But, you know, it's not in very rich soil, so that's hindered it some. And it has been flooded and everything like I said. But other than that, nothing... Nothing. I mean, nothing bothers this tree. Put out some nice new growth this year. Every year, of course, just like the normal plums, most plums, it is absolutely covered 
It's just like snow out here. Just a, the entire tree is nothing but white, fragrant blooms. That's stunning in itself. If you've never seen plum trees in bloom, just loaded. It's like a, just a cloud sitting on your property. Just beautiful. Millions of flowers. The only thing with these guys, they are native, native wild plums. This is just a selection. Uh, they do need pollination. That's the one bad thing. And my only issue has been, I don't have any plums that flower as late as this one does. My girth right here flowered, you know, a month ago, the end of April. And all of my plums are basically done at that point. But this year I was lucky enough because we had such a cold winter, so many cold snaps. It pushed back my other plum varieties and they were able to pollinate this tree here. That is why I have fruit this year. <laughs> and normally, you know, they'd pollinate each other if I had another Chickasaw plum out here, but I don't. So I don't have another late flowering one. But I was very lucky this year that my beauty plums were still flowering when this was. First time that's happened. And I've got about 60 plums on this tree. They're all throughout, scattered throughout everywhere. So, on top of this having amazing fruit, which I have tried before, but that, not in a few years, that was, gosh, that's a mind-blowing plum. But another amazing thing on top of that, the pits, the seeds in these plums are going to be hybrids between this Curve 3 Chickasaw and my beauty plums so i'm actually kind of excited and curious about that for the first time ever i will have chickasaw beauty plums hybrid seeds which yeah that is uh, going to be interesting i'm going to save these seeds crack them open put them in the fridge because plums like a little cold before they sprout and I don't know what I'll get. That'll be interesting. Cross. Super low chill beauty plums. Absolutely amazing tasting. Crossed with a super hardy, super tough native Chickasaw plum that gets orange red, yellow, orange red fruits with just immaculate flavor. So that's going to be very, very interesting. Another thing about this tree is it makes absolutely amazing rootstock. You know, the nematodes don't bother this, flooding doesn't bother it, poor soil doesn't bother it. So if you want a really, really good rootstock for other plum varieties, get yourself some native Chickasaw or just this selection so you can get awesome fruit off of it too. I'm planning on grafting other plum varieties to a cutting of this. The only thing is it can only take plums. I've tried over the years. It does not take peach. It does not take apricot. It'll only take plum, which makes sense because most plums, commercial plums today, are hybrids. Somewhere back in their lineage, they've been crossed with peaches and everything, especially the beauty plums that I grow being self-fertile. They've got some peach in their background somewhere. No matter how far back it is, it's probably still there. So that grafts onto peach root stock and everything. But I've tried grafting peaches and apricots, even almonds, onto this native. And it just doesn't work. You can tell because the, the graft will take, but the graft swells and, and, and eventually just dies off. And um, that's all right. These guys do amazing on their own roots, and if you want to graft other awesome plum varieties to them, you can. So I'm going to leave that there, guys. This is, that was an amazing plum. Mm. I'm hungry, it's early in the morning, and I am just wanting to get some more plums, but they're not ready yet. That was the first one, so those guys will be next right there. And they're pretty good size. The one I just have is smaller than those right there. And those will swell up as they ripen a little more. So, good sized little plums. Chickasaw plum, guys. Guthrie Chickasaw. Guthrie, however you say it. 
is a, a great selection. Great, absolutely amazing selection. Like I've said several times, that plum was amazing. This plum is super hardy, super, you know, sturdy, nothing bothers it, no bugs, no drought, no heat, no flooding. And the only downside is it does need a pollinator, but that's all right. If you live somewhere else and your plums flower a bit later, or you've got later flowering plum varieties that could do well for you, this would be an amazing fruit to grow. And if you're looking for a rootstock, this, I have no doubt, would be a super awesome plum rootstock. Or, like I was talking about, these are hybrid pits now in here. These seeds are, hopefully, if they grow and sprout, and I am lucky, will be crossed with my beauty plums, which themselves have, you know, everything bred into them. So, very, very curious about that. I love growing and breeding and selecting out new varieties. And I'm on a plum kick at the moment. <laughs> getting to taste some amazing plums this year and it's making me want to grow more but there are so few super low chill plums that are very early but hopefully I can change that maybe yeah can you imagine a nice super early Chickasaw Beauty Cross nice orange or yellow skin oh I'm my mouth watering just talking about it <laughs> grow food guys grow super easy productive things like plums especially ones that need no care this Chickasaw I do have cuttings available check out the description below wherever you happen to be watching this if you want some cuttings these root very well right now most things root very well with the semi green wood and a bit of rooting hormone this time of year and these are no exception and grow yourself some absolutely delicious plums yeah, get some cuttings, guys. Get them started. Love you. Grow food. World's getting crazy, but you know what? At least there are delicious plums to stick in your mouth.